Good day, grade 3 pupils. Welcome to our lesson for Mathematics 3, quarter 2, week 3, day 3. Our topic for today is liters and milliliters, estimating and measuring capacity. Before we begin, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Activating prior knowledge. Yesterday, we learned that capacity tells how much liquid a container can hold. The standard unit for capacity is the milliliter or ml. We can use measuring spoons and a graduated cylinder to measure capacity. When using a graduated cylinder, always read the liquid at the bottom of the men meniscus for accuracy. The bigger the unit, the fewer times we need to measure. The smaller the unit, the more times we need to measure. Lesson Purpose Intention To estimate and measure the capacity of containers using standard units in liters and appropriate tools and to relate liter and milliliter. Lesson Language Practice Everybody will read the lesson language practice. Developing understanding of the key idea STEM. Measuring capacity for liters and milliliters. Today, we will learn how to measure capacity in milliliters and liters using a graduated cylinder. We will use these containers to measure capacity if the exact tools are not available. We can replace them with what we have in school. We have the large container or 1.5 liters and the 100 ml graduated cylinder. Let's find out how many milliliters of water the container can hold. Before we measure, let's make a guess. How many milliliters of water do you think it holds? Measuring the container. Pour water into the 100 ml cylinder until empty. Count how many times it was filled. Add the remaining ml. The total we get is 1,500 ml. Well done! If you estimate was close. Introducing liters. Standard unit for larger capacity is liter or L. When measuring bigger quantities, we use liters. 1 liter is equals to 1000 milliliters. Using 1 liter cylinder. These small markings help us read smaller amounts like 10 ml. Between 400 ml and 500 ml, there are 10 small marks. Each small mark is equals to 10 ml. So the capacity of the container is 1 liter and 500 milliliters or 1 and 1 half liters. Example, 1,500 ml is equals to 1,000 ml plus 500 ml. 1,500 ml is equals to 1 liters plus 500 ml. 500 ml is equals to 1 half liters. 1,500 ml is equals to one and one half liter. This container holds three liters and 250 milliliters. The containers 
3 liters and 250 ml. Step 1. Fill 1 cylinder 3 times. Is equals to 3 liters. Add the remaining 250 ml. The capacity is equals now to 3 liters and 250 ml. Remember, 1 liters is equals to 1,000 milliliters. Liters are used for bigger quantities and milliliters for smaller ones. Depending understanding of the key idea stem. Let's practice writing capacity in liters or in a combination of liters and milliliters. Here is the chart. We divide the milliliters into 1,000. Each 1,000 ml is equals to 1 liter. 1 liter is equals to 1,000 ml. Example, 2,800 ml is equals to 2 liters and 800 ml. 4,350 ml is equals to 4,000 liters and 350 ml. So here are the correct answers. Let's check our answers. Container 1 has 2 liters and 800 ml. Container 2 has 4 liters and 350 ml. And container 3 has 10 liters. Every 1,000 ml is equal to 1 liter. So 10,000 ml is equal to 10 liters. Why is 10,000 ml equal to 10 liters? Because 10,000 divided by 1,000 is equal to 10. Making generalization and abstraction. Today, we learned that milliliters and liters are standard units of capacity. A liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. When the capacity is more than 1,000 ml, we can express it as liters or as a combination of liters and milliliters. The bigger the number of milliliters, the more liters it represents. Evaluating Learning And circle the letter that gives a better estimate of the capacity of each container, that is, for part 1. For part 2, determine the capacity of each container in liters and milliliters. Here are the possible answers. Great job today everyone! You listened well, shared your thoughts, and work hard. Keep up the good work. Always remember to count, read, learn, and have fun.
See you next time.